Oh, what is this? The new Hoyo launcher, wow. <laughs> this is interesting. Hello. And welcome. No, I'm not dead. I'm still here. It's been a while, I know. It's just I have exams and I don't have that much time to record or edit. And I want to uh, take advantage of today because today is a free day. You can call it that. Um, I want to see what this 4.7 has to offer and uh, if the excitement is um, indeed true about this uh, about this new version. And I guess I'll start the Archon Quest today. I hope I can finish it. I don't know when I will be able to edit it or upload it. If I don't have time, I'll just upload it without editing it. So, yeah. I guess I'll see you in the game. All right, let's go. That's a lot of exclamation marks. Okay, what do we have here? Any news? Update details. Okay. Update summary. The events. What? Okay. Defense scenario. Okay. Mail. Priprimos. Thank you. And what do we have here? Oh yeah, Clorentes time. Uh, yeah, the Archon quest. This quest. Abyss, of course. If you haven't done Sino Story Quest, I will do it. I promise. I'll be f free, I think. Once? Extremely Once? free after uh, July, I guess. So, um, until then, you can expect, I think, once per week, I'll try to do a... I'll try to do a video, but I cannot promise anything. But after I'm done with the uh, exams and uh, my bachelor degree, then I will uh, I will try to upload uh, pretty often. Domains? What? Wait, what? Was it this? Spiral Abyss thing? Wait, they said that the Spiral Abyss will have an increase, right? One moment. Oh, we got new or new resin. Okay, so that's one thing. Um, let me see the wishes again. That's cute, I guess. I will save though because I want I want to level up my Ayaka better. So we have two hundred resin. We have the commission. I don't think I'll do commission. I'll go get the crystal flight trap though, and then I want to start uh, my. Um, I want to start the Archon Quest. I cannot delay anymore. I just want to see what's going on with um, with the oop. Oh, that's a Baltimore. With um, Dane's live with story. I'm too invested in this game about its story. Then I should be. Uh, what do we have here? Cold Case Commission and and you. I will unlock them, but I won't start them uh, yet. I'll do this first. I guess I'll upload it if I do remember, and uh, and that's it. Uh, let's see. Sumeru Adventures Guild and talk Sumeru. Focused experience mode. To better experience discussed by avoiding conflicts with other quests occupying. Not to uh, uh, bother you or anything, but uh, I don't have other quests. It's literally my this quest, and that's it. Okay. Um, yeah, let's let's uh, let's start. I don't even do commissions. I'll just go and do um, and do the story quest. I want to see what's going on. So let's see. Go to Sumeru Adventurers Guild and talk to Catherine. Let's go. Okay, it's been a while since I've been to Sumeru. It's indeed been a a, a while. Do I have condensed resin? Wait a moment. Maybe I can do a set of condensed. I have five condensed. I won't be doing that. Let's see what we have here. Ah, oh, perfect. It's you two. Hello, Captain. I have a commission here that has your names written all over it. In fact, I'd even go so far as to say you're the only ones for the job. Okay. The only ones for the job? Huh. If our help is really that important, it's probably some Archon class commission, right? Archon class commission. I've never heard of it. That classification paper, but sure, we're happy to take this on. Which Archon do you need us to deal with today? I'm the Archon killer. <laughs> the Adventurous Guild doesn't employ that kind of classification system. In fact, 
This commission is also probably not nearly as intimidating as what okay. we expected. Okay, one moment. All it asks us to do is to find the missing person. A oh, missing person? Well, that's what we're looking huh? for. Then why did you say we were the only ones for the job? I came across this commission while reviewing our backlog not too long ago. It seems simple, but our records indicate that over a dozen of successful efforts... Of course someone calls me right in the middle of the Archon quest! Ah, okay, we're back. Let's continue. With the reputation of the Adventurers Guild and the performance of the Sumeru branch at stake, it's in our best interest to assign this commission to the adventurer with the highest completion rate over the past few years. Thank you, Whoa, I guess. that's us for sure! <laughs> Flattery will get you everywhere with Paimon, but I can guarantee we'll be able to complete it either. <laughs> All I'm asking is for you to give it your best shot. Okay, okay. So we're looking for a missing person. Are we looking for our brother? <laughs> if it proves to be beyond your capabilities as well, I'll talk to the commissioner about cancelling the commission. I ain't cancelling okay, anything. So who are we looking for? And what is it about this commission that's made it so hard to complete? This commission was jointly issued by the residents of Vimara Village. They say uh, one of their own villagers has gone missing. Vimara Village? But the problem I don't remember. is, they don't know the missing person's name. They can only provide information about his general appearance. Okay. Uh... They're all from the same village, but they don't even know his name? <laughs> Whoops. Hmm. If so many adventurers have failed to complete this commission, maybe this missing villager doesn't exist at all. Could it be some sort of a prank or something? I don't think people Unlikely. commission things, Several villagers pay money for to commissions that to prank people. And judging by their appearance and tone of voice, they seemed incredibly sincere. It certainly didn't seem like a joke to them. Besides, Putting up a commission requires a yeah, processing fee. Yeah, would pay for a there prank. There aren't many upsides to a prank that costs Mora to carry out. That would be a little strange. More our primer gems, don't, don't, don't forget. In any case, it would probably be best to go to Vimara Village and ask around first. The Adventurous Guild does have some information on hand, but I would say anything you can learn directly from the villagers would be far more reliable. The best way to avoid misdirection is to go to the source. All right then, let's go. Paimon's starting to get really curious about this whole thing. Okay, let's go. Bedtime story, chapter four, act six. Uh, go to Vimara Village. Let's drop so I don't uh, break my legs. To Vimara Village. Why don't we talk to some of the villagers to learn a little bit more about the missing guy? Okay. If this commission is really as challenging as Catherine made it out to be, we're gonna need to carry out a very detailed investigation. Please don't make me... Don't make me do detective work again. Hello, Baram. Bahram. Hello there. Yo. You looking to buy something? I do business in this area. Oh, no, no. We're adventurers. My guy does shady I've business. I've to look into a commission here in Vermara Village. Ah, so mean hear about that, always then. have these ah, on her on you're not hand? the first that's for sure Wait. we've certainly made a lot of trouble for you all to be honest we aren't holding out much hope many adventurers have made their way out here confident they'd be able to help us only to leave soon after with nothing to show for their efforts but we're we special up to here in questions and the area around the village has practically been overturned in search of clues but no one has been able to make any headway so this person looking for what's his name where did he live does he have any relatives did lumin always have these things on her hand oh, she's scary and all but it seems like he no she ha she always had that i'm just uh i'm just blind and I, I don't think i've ever seen these on her hand uh, I, I don't know or i didn't pay attention I really no enough. i've I played this game you. for a couple of years okay. now Guess and never really never I never I'm saw sorry. that. I didn't mean to sound short with you. I was actually just giving you my answer to your questions. So those three questions are a no-go then. Is there anything else you can tell us? I know it may seem like we don't have anything to offer by way of information, but I promise you, we all have a very strong impression of him. When you live in the same village as someone, you develop a lot of memories together. But how do you know? not know his we name? Just don't know the specifics. Uh, maybe we did at one point, but that information is long gone by now. Okay. At least that's what everyone in the village seems to think. We've all exchanged what we know, 
And that was the only logical conclusion. All right. Specifics aside, then, what kind of person was he? Young guy. In his early 20s, probably. Incredibly kind sort of person. Always willing to lend a helping hand. I'd chat with him when I didn't have any customers. I even saw him stick out his neck for others on more than one occasion. <laughs> Are you talking about Very Ether right guy, here? That one. Now that you've started talking about him, you don't seem nearly as down in the dumps as you did before. Seems like he left a pretty good impression on you. But of course, everyone in the village is pretty fond of him. We wouldn't have issued that commission otherwise. There aren't many young people like him nowadays. So genuine and pure. To think that he just up and disappeared one day. I just hope nothing bad happened. Could he have just moved away without telling anyone? Mm -hmm. No, that's cross he's not the type to leave without saying goodbye. And anyway, moving away without being seen by a single person in the village? There's no way he would have been able to manage that. Huh. Alright, thanks for the information. We're gonna go ask around some more. Okay. Let's see. <laughs> we find anything else. Uh, talk to Amadia. Hello. It's that guests I hear. Hi, Grandpa Amadea. We're here to help you look for the guy that's gone missing. Ah, so that's what brings you to these parts. Coming all this way for our sake. That's so very kind of you. With your help, I trust that young man's case is in good hands. I hope. Could you tell us a bit about him? Of course. I'm happy to help any way I can. With my failing eyesight, I'm afraid I can't offer much about his appearance. But I do remember hearing the sound of his voice. Not recently, of course. That loss has left me feeling quite empty. Oh. I don't think his parents are still living in the village. But somehow he never seemed lonely. In fact, he was usually the one offering companionship to others. He would often take time to visit the elderly or play with the orphans in the village. And whenever someone had something on their mind, he was there to listen with open ears. He always knew just what to say. As the village chief, I owe him many thanks. Helping villagers navigate difficult moments in their lives should have been one of my responsibilities. But he was often the one rising to the occasion. Wow. He seems like such a nice and gentle person. No wonder his disappearance affected you all so much. Mm -hmm. But, um, you wouldn't happen to know any details about his name, address, or family situation, right? <sighs> I'm ashamed to admit it, but I just can't remember. No matter how you look at it, I should know those things. But for some reason, no matter how hard I try to remember, the information just doesn't come. Perhaps my age really has caught up with me this time. Ah, uh, it's okay. There's no need to force yourself to try and remember. We'll figure something out. Okay, so this investigation is going nowhere. Well, Traveler, what do you think? There's probably more to this case that missed the eye. A lot of things are not adding up. Yep, we're not I going anywhere. I think so too. Like, the name thing. It's so weird that no one remembers his name. And nobody has been able to tell us anything about his family or where he lived. It's like this guy's been erased from reality or something. Oh. Wait, 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 wait. Paimon, you're uh, a little genius here. I know. Uh, we erased... Um, the Wanderer from... Wait a moment. We're not talking about the Wanderer, right? Because he erased himself from existence and he became that Wanderer, that kind Wanderer before he got uh, his memories back. Let's... Wait. Let's see. So you're saying it's not that he's been erased necessarily, but more like he never existed to begin with? Okay, Paimon's gonna need some time to process that one. <laughs> Someone who only exists in people's memories? 
Yeah, it has to be Scaramouche. Happen with greater Luca, Lord Luca de Vata, like some sort of mass alteration of people's memory. Yeah, it has to be him, right? You two are the adventurers who just arrived, right? You're here for the Vamara Village Commission? Who are you? Yep, sure are. We were just looking into the case. I'm so glad to hear that. Thank goodness you haven't given up. I've been so worried the Adventurers Guild might cancel our commission. My name is Atosa, by the way. I grew up here in Vimara Village. Anyway, I just wanted to say... Please keep searching for a missing villager. I'm begging you. You have to find him. Okay, I'm sure we'll track him down. We'll certainly try our best. Don't need to worry. We'll give it our best shot. So, were you close to the missing villager? Are there any leads you can give us? Hmm... I'm not sure this counts as a lead, but follow me. There's a place I'd like to show you. Okay. Go to the place indicated by Atosa. There's a silly. How did I miss you? There's everything happening here. Is this the place? Under this tree? Yep. I know it doesn't look like much, but this place is very meaningful to me. It's so full of memories. Okay. We used to always sit together under this tree and talk. Sometimes we would look up at the clouds in the sky or stop to feel the wind against our skin. We could sit there for hours at a time, never realizing how long it had been. I was actually adopted by the people of Amar Village. The forest rangers found me in the woods as a child. I was surrounded by such good people, and growing up in the village was so lively. Still, there were times when I couldn't help but feel incredibly alone. Alone? Uh, how should I put it? When something's bothering you, or when you have good news to share, you always want to talk about it with somebody. But for the longest time, I didn't know who I could talk to, or if I should say anything at all. Everyone has their own problems to deal with. Even if I might want to confide in others, I don't want to become a burden. I think I get what you mean. That's what family's for. <laughs> really? Oh my god. You know exactly how I feel? I used to have someone like that, a family member that I could talk to no matter what. But now, I have a lot of friends who understand me and would be happy to hear me out. I don't know that family member if he's still your family member. Aww. Wow, that sounds really nice. I think Paimon You're has become lucky. a family member. When it comes to our missing villager, well... I guess you could say that to me. He felt like both a family member I could rely on and a friend who could really understand me. No matter what came my way, I knew I could always talk to him. He was so thoughtful and pure, and patient, too. Whenever I talked to him, he would always seem so interested, as if the things I was describing were just as important to him as they were to me. Okay. Ever since he disappeared, there's been so much I wanted to tell him. No, no, none of those things matters now. I just really want to see him again. Wow. You two must have been really close. Did he ever tell you anything about himself? Hmm. He mostly just talked about interesting things he saw around the village. He'd share a lot of his own wild ideas as well. Oh, right! I did ask him about his parents once. But all he said was, they're not here anymore. Okay, that's sad. And creepy at the same time. I didn't know whether that meant they had left the village or passed away, and I didn't want to pry. Hmm. Still not much to go off of. Still have... we, we have uh, nothing. Look at me. Talking your ear off and still nothing to show for it. I'm sorry I wasn't more help. Don't say that. You helped us understand him better. The last time I talked this much in one go was when we were still together. Huh. Come to think of it, every time we talked, it always seemed to be around dusk, just like right now. Okay. Time always passed by really slowly. 
Even when it felt like we'd been talking for hours, the sun would still be at the same position in the sky. Well, time always seems to pass slower when you're relaxed, right? Uh, what's wrong, Traveler? It was always the same time of day, and time never seemed to pass. Um, I'm over... I, I, I don't know what this means, but I think... She noticed something based on what we've learned this is definitely not a regular missing person's case what atosa just told us about time could be the key to unraveling this whole mystery i feel like we should go to nahida and ask ask her about some things probably the god of wisdom knows something hey look at those hill huh? trails over there doesn't it seem like they're acting a little strange we're not actually looking for someone who transformed into a hillichur, right? Is that an abyss mage? Uh, the abyss order. Could they be the ones behind all of this? I, even for, I don't think we've seen the abyss order in, an, in a quest for so uh -oh, long. We've been spotted! Quick! Get ready to fight! Good thing I have my water with me May I present? Pokemon fight Okay done Oh never mind Okay Thank you so much I wasn't expecting monsters to show up. If you hadn't been here, I'm not sure what I would have done. It was no trouble. The question we should be asking now is, what is the Abyss Order doing around here? Lumin, Abyss Mages are literally everywhere. Hmm, now that I think about it, the Hilly Trolls around Vilmara Village have been a lot more active lately. They seem agitated and would often attack anything in sight. Chief Amadea doesn't allow the children to play in the area around the village anymore. Hmm. Maybe the Abyss Order really is involved. Hmm, probably. Well, we should head back and check out the situation in Vimara Village just in case. If the Abyss Order is plotting something, that could spell trouble for the villagers. <laughs> Okay. Next quest, I guess. Wait a second. The person. It's. Dainsleeve. Hello. What's up, Chad? Ah, it's you two. Oh, a friend of yours? You have no idea. Well, I'll leave you all to it then. I should head back to the village and check up on Chief Amadea and the others anyway. See you later. Bye. Yep. See you later. Okay. Atosa. Days leave time to lure bombas. Tell us everything. What do you know? Everything you know about Why everything. Why do you always have to pop up out of nowhere like that? Is it your life's mission to jump scare <laughs> us or something? <laughs> it's hardly personal or intentional, for that matter. As long as you and I are both in pursuit of the Abyss Order, we're bound to cross paths. When when will you be ah, playable? So you're here to investigate the Abyss Order then? That would explain the monsters you were fighting just now. Naturally. Hold on. Are you not here for the same purpose? We're also on their tail, but I'll admit it, we ran into them by accident. Hmm. No matter. It may have taken you a while to catch on, but I'm sure you've also realized by now that there's something strange about this place. There's something strange about the vet, but no one tells us anything. The Abyss Order is most certainly planning something in this area. Or worse, their plan could already be in motion. So you think the Abyss Order is behind the hilly trail activity in the area? As things stand, I highly doubt that is their primary motive. I would imagine the increased hilly trail activity is merely a byproduct of whatever it is they're really trying to accomplish. Still, the hilly trail activity is causing a lot of problems for the people here. We should stick around for a while and protect the village, don't you think? 
The mm -hmm. best way to protect them is by figuring out what the Abyss Order is truly planning. That is how we prevent further tragedy. <sighs> well, let's see what more we can learn from the villagers. And after that, you also owe us many answers. Of course, you do. And you shall have them. I never intended to hide anything from You're you. You're hiding everything from Don't me. Don't worry. There should be ample time to talk. You return to Verona to gather intel based on what you've learned. You're... <laughs> Let me read. Ah, so that was the commission that brought you here to Vimara village. Someone who seems to only exist in people's memories. That is indeed quite intriguing. I would agree that it's unlikely you have a simple missing persons case on your hands. However, any possible connection to the Abyss Order is still unclear. It appears all we have by way of clues is increased hilly churl activity. And that is certainly not much to go off of. Well then, how about the intel you promised me? Right! That mysterious voice she heard in her brother's memory. The one who called himself a sinner. Who is he? Oh. Wait, that was the last time we saw Dane's leave? Yeah, that was the last, last time before Fontaine. It's been a while, okay. Hmm. Now explain yourself. Traveler, let me ask you this. Do you believe your sibling to have betrayed you? In a matter of speaking, yeah. Hmm. I sense hesitation in your words. Because I had to read. After all, you still haven't figured out the whole truth of what happened. There's still hope for the <laughs> two of you to Because we still don't reconcile. know anything. Irreparable damage has not yet been done. We don't know anything. We don't know if even the Tevat is real. We don't even know about the... He what was that organization of witches and wizards? Uh, he he Herzakrel? Hexakrel? I don't know. What are that? We, ha we know nothing about that. Literally nothing. We know so little about everything happening here. And you aren't telling us anything. The sinner you wish to know about. His situation is different. He and his fellow sinners have long betrayed me. And long betrayed their nation. So you know. His name is Vedderfolnir, the visionary. He's a I'm Viking. To admit it, but he is also my kin, my older brother. Okay. Brother? Hold on, hold on, hold on. I need to process process this. So he knew the sinner's name. It's uh, I for I, I literally just forgot Veldernir or something. What really happened in Caria back then? There were five of them. The five sinners of Caria. Okay. The wise, Roptatir. The visionary, Vedderfolnir. Gold, Rhinedaughter. The foul, Sertologi. And Rehir of Solnari, Rerir. Okay. No matter how eroded my memory may become, I will never forget their names. One day, I shall have my vengeance. Wait, some of those names sound really familiar. Rhine Daughter is the one who created Albedo. Sertologi is Skirk's master. Wait, 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 Huh? Wait a moment. So, yeah, I know Albedo is artificial human, but I completely forgot about this. So Rhine Daughter... Created Albedo, Surtalogi Skirk's ma- Is that woman's master? We're not even half an hour in this quest and I'm, al I'm already sweating. What is- And the one we just learned about, Dane's brother, Vedafolnir. If he was the voice of the sinner, then the one who inspired Clotar to create the Abyss Order was him! Somehow everything is connected and nothing makes sense. If that's true, then the, the stone slaves we found in the ruin in Fontaine, the ones that outlined Fontaine's prophecy, that was likely Verdolfoni doing as well. I, I, we really need to have a replayable quest because I completely forgot about this. They were once people of great esteem in Kanria. Those who carried the hopes of the nation. They were the best of their peers, 
outstanding in their respective fields. The six of us, together. We should have been the ones to prevent the disaster. The ones to stop the Vinster King from continuing to rock the foundation of the world. Okay. Yet, deep within, the five of them craved something more. They could not resist the call of the Abyss and divided among themselves a power that could destroy the world. So they became sinners, but also transcendent beings, each in possession of world-shattering power. Okay. When the cataclysm occurred, not one of them stood up in defense of their nation. Not one came forward to prevent the tragedy. And for that, they shall never have my forgiveness. And then my sibling came into contact with your brother. Indeed. If they are not stopped, the day is sure to come when they will also betray the entire world. It must be hard to talk about all of this, but thank you for telling of me. Of course. As I, I said, still need to process what he just said. I never to hide anything from you. So, Dean, what have you been looking into all this time? That's a good question. I've continued to investigate the questions surrounding the Loom of Fate. Yes, 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 yes. It's been quite some time since the initial operation was launched. I forgot about that. By retrieving the eye of the first field tiller, we were able to stop part of their plan from coming to fruition. Oh, Paimon remembers? No, I, I do not. Are going to use it to corrupt Osile and make a god or something? Indeed. However, it's obvious that was just some sort of technical experiment. The eye was integral to their plan, yet somehow, despite failing to obtain it, they've skipped the experimental phase and found some other way to keep moving forward. Okay. There are many signs pointing to that effect. Then what should we do? It's not too late, is it? Our most pressing concern is to determine the purpose of the Loom of Fate. From there, we'll be able to deduce the Abyss Order's true objective. Based on the intel I've gathered so far, I suspect the Loom of Fate is related to the Ley Lines in some way. The Ley Lines? Traveler, you were able to observe your siblings' memories last time, yes? I believe that was due to the fact that the Ley Lines in that area were unstable. Okay. My recent investigation has shown that Abyss Order activity in a particular area is usually followed by a series of issues with the ley lines. And one of the things that flows through the ley lines are memories. Okay. Wait. Then our commission here in Vimara Village. The person who seems to exist only in people's memories. Could it be connected? It's definitely connected. Memories, ley lines, loom of fate, the missing person that doesn't seem to exist. What's the connection between all of this? Why do I feel like we should talk to Nahida? Maybe she knows something. And the, the ley lines connected to... Uh, I forgot what the name is. Iqdrazil? No, that's not it. Uh, Irmensol, that's it, that's it. I was, I was close. It's certainly possible. I'll join your investigation tomorrow. This missing persons case could very well turn out to be the key to unraveling these mysteries okay well if we're teaming up with dane again we're gonna need all the energy we can get let's try investigating somewhere a little further away tomorrow all right and it's tomorrow nice let's go Paimon, are you okay? Oh, so tired. Paimon used way too much brain juice yesterday. <laughs> it's all Dane's fault saying all that complicated stuff. I am still processing. My head's a mess. I didn't sleep well either. Well, let's go find Dane. We've got a lot to do today. Okay, let's go. Doesn't Dane have a way to... Uh, doesn't he have a phone or... Uh, I guess not in these times... Uh, an eagle that I can send, an owl that I can send a message to him every now and then. Uh, Dane? 
Hello, Dane. Earth to Dane. Why are you just zoning out over here? <sighs> Hello, Daijobu. Did something happen? What's wrong, Dane? The missing person from your commission. Could you describe them to me? Oh, a uh, young guy, early twenties. Seriously, Dane, what's going on? Is that guy Ether? There appear to be certain memories in my mind that weren't there before. Oh, memories of him. Oh. But maybe, maybe we just talked too much about him yesterday, and you had a weird dream or something. No, it wasn't a dream. They're memories. Memories that suddenly appeared in my mind after I woke up. And I'm certain I've never met this person before. I think the ley lines here are unstable too. What exactly did you remember? I remember handing him the eye of the first field tiller. Huh? What? <laughs> Excuse me, what? Yes, what? Okay, so this missing person definitely has something to do with the Abyss Order then. Okay. Indeed. And it that was it, though. He possesses the ability to implant memories into the minds of others. So it's not Wanderer, okay. How is that even possible? Wait then. All the memories the villagers have of him, could they be fake too? Maybe they never knew him at all. But why would he do something like that? Mm, to mask Whatever his traces? Whatever the order is planning, an important truth has been revealed to us this morning. What sort of truth? That their goal is still to obtain the eye of the first field tiller. They haven't stopped searching for it. Okay. I am the only person who knows its location. Perhaps... Implanting that particular memory was an attempt to interfere with my mind in some way. That's a good point. Is the eye still safe? What if that memory is real? Your concerns are not entirely unfounded. I don't believe the Abyss Order is capable of altering reality like that just yet. Just However, yet? considering their single-minded pursuit of the eye, I would see an equal level of caution is in order on our part. Come with me. We must check whether the eye is still in our possession. <laughs> okay. Oh, so you're going to take us to where you hit it? But if someone follows us, if we go straight there and someone is on our tail, why not just exposing the eye's location? Maybe that's the reason the abyss of the implanted memory in the first place to force Dane to confirm the eye's location. Hmm. Given that I know what I know of him, though, I'm sure Dane has already thought of that possibility. It seems like he might already have a plan. Lead the way, Dane. Of course. I'm hungry. Go to the place where the field tiller's eye is hidden. I fell. I don't want to unpause the game. Field tiller's eye. That first... I think it was the first mission we have had with Dane, right? I don't remember that well. I think it's been three or four years and we've, we've, we've done that mission. My guy, you expect me to remember that? So you hit it way out here? Not an easy place to discover, that's for sure. Yep. Well, let's go check to see if it's safe. That looks like a domain or a portal to another oh, world. Traveler, wait. Hmm? Uh, whoa. Things are glitching in his mind. We've no time to lose. Let's head inside. Okay. What was they going to tell me just now? Hey, wait up! I'm on fly faster. Have a thing. Was this place here all along? I mean, where did this place get added now with the update? Because 
if I went through, went, went past this place and never saw the big uh, barrier here, then I'm uh, I'm disappointed in my in my field of vision. Place of Revelations. Dane brings you to where he hid the eye before. As you continue onward, the answer will soon be revealed. But when you step within, there seems to be something strange about uh, going on with Dane. Okay. You want me to get uh, an Electro? I don't think I want. Let me actually get this team. So I have an Anemo with me in case I need... In case there's a lot of enemies. And I need to gather them all. Udex Nuvillet, right here. Enter the death one. Door of Red. I forgot about the Door of Resurrection. Okay, what do we have here? Where are... This looks like... I have some memories about a place just like this. It's from a, a Star Wars game. From when I was a child. I think I'll put a, an image on the screen if I do find one. Because that game is quite old. But this looks very similar to that place. Wow. Okay, I see some things there. Don't tell me I need an Electro for a pillar. Hope not. Wind strike. Shut fallen leaves. Adorn my knights. One with nature. Man. Here's the mechanisms here have changed over time. Okay. You can access the upper floor through the side door. Perhaps you should try reactivating the mechanism over there. Okay. Let's try this one then. Oh, this thing. Yeah, I completely forgot about this uh, this gameplay. It's been a while since I've been to Sumeru. Have a look a bit. Explore the... the sur oh, there. The surroundings. That's a chest. Thank you. Not there. This one. Hmm. Just a random ruin guard. Okay, that's done. Uh, that looks like an elevator. <laughs> Never mind. What? Light puzzle? Make sure all the runes are pointing in the direction indicated by the light. That should unlock the mechanism. Oh, okay, now I got it. It's just a, a neat puzzle. Let's see, that's one. Let me keep you... No, this one is here. Keep you there. Like this. Not this one. You okay? Let me rotate you back up, get you here, and then rotate you back down. Ah, that's it. The doors are that was easy. Let's go. Our destination is just up ahead. Okay, what will we, will we find here? What is that? There's like a statue and an entrance to somewhere. And apparently I cannot go there. Or maybe I'm just going there through another location. Yeah, that through another way. Okay. So never mind. I thought I wasn't going there in just a teaser or something, but I guess I overthink. What's here? Nothing. Doors of Resurrection are not green anymore, apparently. What do we have here? A lot of statues. Looks 
looks like we can't go any further. Someone, something's watching us. Your guard. Yep. I sense the presence of the abyss. Is that a Hydro one? Oh, I think he's a Cryo. Are you kidding me? Really? Really? The night is cold. How am I supposed to beat this guy with Nuvilet? Is Furina dealing damage to this I think Furina is dealing damage to this guy. You can beat a cryo one with uh, with Hydro, really? Apparently you can, okay. Didn't know that. The tide's beckoning. The night is cold. Okay, well, uh I'm so glad I didn't have my eye out here. That would have been a problem. The false memories were a trap. The abyss order just wanted to follow us here. Now that they're in the vicinity, we should have a chance to see. Okay. What's wrong? What's going on? Can you feel that? There's been a disturbance in the ley lines. It must be the work of the abyss. Wow, you must be really sensitive to that sort of thing. Byman doesn't feel it. You too. Do as I say. Use that mechanism over there and leave this place. If you're here on your own, will you be alright? The Abyss Order is putting something in motion. If you return to Vimara Village, I suspect you might finally have the opportunity to locate the missing villager. Okay. Just think of it as a way to divide and conquer. Alright, alright. Split up and uh, have more eyes. Dane does have a point, but something still feels off. What am I missing? I I still think I'm missing a lot, not just the uh, one thing. Who's coming? A boss fight? Can I play with Dean? Please? Ether, of course. <laughs> I knew going along with your trap would be the only way to meet with you face to face. You risked your safety, and that of the Eye. That's quite the gamble, Dainsliff. But I believe that I am the one walking into a trap laid by the Twilight Sword. Hmm. So you came here all on your own? What about those followers of yours? When the Twilight Sword is prepared for battle, any army I could send would only be marching to their doom. Better that I face you alone. Okay. I know you must have a lot to say. But if it's a conversation you want, you'll have to defeat me first. I'm getting goosebumps. No! Let me see the fight! Why? <laughs> The abyss order is on the move. The ley lines are all out of whack. We better hurry back to. Oops, I interrupted Paimon. Hey, Sorry. Look at those hilly trails over there. They seem strangely calm. Weren't they acting super agitated just a little while ago? Why are they so calm all of a sudden? What have they been smoking? I hear something. In the new world, huh? they bade farewell to the shrouded sun. What? At last, they no longer needed to dwell on their suffering. 
or try to differentiate between various thoughts of blasphemy. Whose voice is that? Is that ether? Such was the price they paid, and thus their souls became cleansed and pure. Uh, did you hear that? What was that sound just now? You hear it, Dupaimon? It was someone's voice. It sounded so gentle. Could that voice be comforting the hilly trills in some way? Oh, this is weird. Let's check if this is happening anywhere else. Following the voices now. Uh, check on the what's with the map. Ah, oh, that is the map. Okay. Looks like the same thing is happening over here too. The hilly churls are calm. You hmm. see? Oh, we're both still here. We've reclaimed an endless amount of time to love. Release your tears. You no longer need to hold back your sorrow. What does this mean? Is that voice again? Check on the hilly trail. Over there. It looks like they're sleeping. In the end, oh. he whispered softly. It's a bedtime, to bedtime story. Isn't this the name of the Archon quest? They're all credits. Sleep well, father. Sleep well, my beloved people. When you awake, that which differentiates us shall be no more. Is that Curry Bear? I have the revelation. Is that Curry Bear? It almost sounds like a poem or some kind of story. Bed's time story? Well, now that the hilly trolls have calmed down, Vimara Village should be safe at least. Let's put the situation to the side for now. Dane said this might be our chance to find the missing villager, so we should head back to Vimara Village before it's too late. I guess you're right. Uh, talk to my dear. Can I? I cannot teleport. I need to go on foot. Okay. Hey, your grandpa. Grandpa Amadea, is everyone all right? The Abyss Order seems to be up to something nearby. The Abyss Order? This is the first I'm hearing of it. Okay. Thank you for your concern. But as far as I'm aware, it's been business as usual here in the village. Well, that's good to hear. At least that's good oh, to hear, yeah. So you didn't happen to come across any clues about the missing villager while we were gone, did you? Hmm? Someone's gone missing, you say? Well, oh, this mean? is weird. Huh? This is a problem. See, <laughs> things just got even more complicated. You know, the young guy from Vimara Village. The one you've been looking for all this time. You posted a commission with the Sumeru Adventurers Guild. That's kind of the whole reason we're here, actually. Your missing persons commission. Ah, I do apologize, you two. I hope I'm not worrying you too much. I'm sure it's just my age making me forgetful again. At least right now, I can't seem to recall whatever it is you're referring to. Perhaps you should try asking someone else. But how is that? Uh, all right. Thanks for your help, Grandpa Amadea. Okay. Things are getting weird. Something's definitely not right. Ah, uh, you don't say. We just talked to Grandpa Amadea about the missing villager. There's no way he could have forgotten all about him just like that. What do you think, Traveler? Could everyone's memories of the missing villager have been erased again? Too early to say. We should check in on the other first. I think that girl that uh, right. talked we about him. We should narrow down the possibilities first. Let's go ask someone else then. Okay. Talk to Baram. Oh yeah, this guy. And I'm pretty sure I'll be talking to that girl. Uh, to that NPC girl after. Will you remember this guy? Someone's gone missing? Who? Yeah, that's a problem. Uh, just as expected. Um, that guy you said a bunch of nice things about earlier? The one you always used to chat with. 
He's around 20 years old, and you said he was a kind, warm-hearted person? Oh, I know who you're talking about. Okay. Really? You remember? There aren't many young people who've earned that kind of praise from me. If you're certain that's what I said, then there's only one person who fits the bill. No doubt about it. But why'd you say he's gone missing? Have you seen him recently? Yeah, I just saw him leave the village. There was someone else with him too. They couldn't have gone far. Okay, let's go. Strange. Bayram seems to remember him. And apparently he just saw him? Do you think maybe it's not that there's something wrong with people's memories, but that we've somehow returned to a time before he went missing? Uh, that's a possibility. But I, yeah, I doubt returning to the past would be that simple. Given everything they mentioned about this tunnel with the ley line, I'd say it's far more likely that this is related to memories in some way. I need to think carefully what's really going on. Oh. What's really going on? People have forgotten about the missing person. Just like what happened with Greater Lord Rukadavata, no one remembers him because there's been a change in people's memories. Yep. We've returned to a point before the disappearance took if place. If he really did travel back to a time before he disappeared, that could explain why the villagers said he hadn't gone missing. Okay. We are presently traversing someone's memories. If this person only exists in people's memories. Maybe we're in someone's memory right yeah, now. Yeah, when what happened with the the whole your brother's memory and everything? Probably this is the right. one. Right, Paimon totally forgot about the leyline disturbances. We're in someone else's memory. But how can we both be in someone else's memories? Last time. I was the only one transported there. Just like how you entered your sibling's memory last time. Yeah. But why are you here then? That would also explain why we seem to be at a time before he went missing. It's a memory after all. If we really are in someone's memory, then this is our chance to find right. him. If he's someone who only exists in people's memories, then we're finally on the same turf. Yep. But didn't Baron just say that he saw him leave the village We should with hurry. Where should we go look for him? Who knows how long this ley line disturbance is gonna last? We might not have that much time and we don't even know whose memory this is! Let's go through what we know so far. Good idea! That'll help us narrow things down. We pretty much figured out that the missing villager has the ability to... Implant memories into the minds of others. Right! That! Can we try to figure out more about him using what we know of his ability? Like, does yes. it maybe leave a trace that would somehow give him away? Elemental trace, maybe? Implanting memories, in my... Implanting memories into the minds of others must be an imperfect process. There's no way the new memories could perfectly blend in with the old ones. There has to be some kind of tell. Oh, come on. The weakness is the missing person. Scenes from false memories will not change. All the memories seem to be set in or near Vimara village. But I'm still not sure if they're restricted to this location. Time does not pass within false memories. If time is allowed to pass within the false memories, there's a higher chance they might conflict with someone's original recollection. That would make it much harder to avoid suspicion. False memories are easily forgotten. There's a difference between memories that arise from lived experiences and those that are implanted into the mind. Perhaps it has something to do with time. Hmm... Probably this one. Maybe not. Maybe not. <laughs> we don't have any way to prove whether certain memories were simply forgotten or never existed in the first place. Okay, you're right. Hmm, this one? No. Okay. Based on what we know so far, there isn't any evidence to support that conclusion. The time does not pass within five Yeah, she said that. No wonder! All this time in the sky hasn't changed a bit! That must mean... Time isn't passing! And it's done! That's so you're in that girl. Memories. The that girl's memories. memories are basically taking place outside of the regular 24 hours of the day. If the memories included the regular passage of time, it would be easy for people to tell that something was off. I think? Like I guess? Like there could be overlap or something. 
people might start to wonder why they remember doing two different things at the same time of day. That's why he makes sure the memories take place at a specific moment in time rather than over a period of time. We consider this in conjunction with what we already know, then the question of whose memory this is seems to have an obvious answer. Yeah, it's that girl. It's a Tosa. The color of the sky. Yeah. The, the moment. Dainsleth had memories implanted into his mind. We thought Chief Amadea forgot about the missing villager. But it... I think it's a Tosa. Yep. Oh, it's that girl. Right. That's exactly what a Tosa described. Yep. Oh, come to think of it. Every time we talked, it always seemed to be around dusk, just like right now. So I think I know where he is, Time right? Time always passed by really slowly. Even when it felt like we'd been talking for hours, the sun would still be at the same position in the sky. Yep, that has to be it. This is definitely a Tosa's memory. Let's go to the tree. Yeah, that's where the... Oh, I interrupted Paimon again. I got way too excited. Go to the place Satosa in once indicated. Oh, I cannot teleport. I should have brought Yelan or uh, someone with movement <laughs> abilities. I don't think I... I cannot even configure my party over here. Okay. This is... A, I, of course I can wish here because uh, why not? There is always time to make money, right? <laughs> okay, I... I so, he's, he's from Karia. Jahiet was a mercenary when she was younger. She just talks like that out of habit. She's not trying to scare the children on purpose. <laughs> oh, there I go again. Always talking about my own things. Do you maybe have anything you want to share? She's in love. Um, it's okay if you don't. He's from Karia, of course. You, you could also just talk about what you think of me. Oh, I... Uh, I, I think you're an incredibly strong, yep, he's from Karia. thoughtful young woman. You'll meet many amazing people and live a very happy life. You won't miss someone like me. Huh? Are those your friends over there? We were just staring like this. <laughs> we're the creepy ones. We finally found him, but why does he look kind of familiar? He looks like that guy. Uh -huh. Of Atosa hasn't met us yet. Friends? I guess you could say that. It must have taken them a lot of effort to find me. What? What? What do you mean? Are you Kari Bear? So I should see what they need. I'm sorry, Atosa. We'll have to continue this conversation another time. Another time, huh? Um Yeah. Okay. I'll head back to the village then. Talk to you some other time. Hmm. Or maybe is that grandpa? No, it couldn't be. It's nice to see you, traveler. I believe this is the first time we've met. Okay, he knows me. Oh, of course, he knows me. Yeah, it's Cari Bear. Factoring the memories, the abyss of the loom of fate, and everything else. I need to think for often that I can connect all this together. Okay, let's... The founder of the Abyss Order. The man who broke the curse of immortality. Born into abject sorrow, he shall now become the Loom of Fate. Dane's brother. No, it the five cannot be Conria, Dane's brother. The one who stole the power of the Abyss. It's Kari Bear for sure. I You're missed three times. Kari Bear Alberic. Oh, you know me? That's quite a surprise. I don't believe I've met you before. The the scarf on his hand uh, gave it away. Oh, I see. It was the memory, wasn't it? Your sibling's memory. You saw the me from back then. And you are still here because... So, this means Hillichers can turn back into humans, right? Right? This is Atosa's memory. I came here to say goodbye to her. But 
I suppose I'll just leave her a message instead. Come, let's find somewhere else to talk. <laughs> My guy is changing uh, things. Whoa. Um. Can someone translate, please? Translate this for me, please. This is a heart. Oh. This place looks familiar. Yeah, this this thing gave gave it away. That he's caliber. Okay, thanks for the achievement. The proof of existence. Wow. I feel like I should play this game in 4K, but uh, I don't think my PC can handle that while still recording. Because this looks... Let's take a moment to admire the scenery. This looks... Ama this looks beautiful. I cannot even make uh, um, photos here. I guess I'll snipping. I'll, I'll screenshot this. Hold on. I want. I want to screenshot this. Uh, this tree. This is a good thumbnail here. Thank you. Continue. <sighs> wow. What is this place? Are you alright, bro? I suppose you could call it the realm of my consciousness. I'm someone who no longer exists in the real world after all. Oh. As you well know. So, no. Creatures cannot be transferred back to humans, but... You died as a creature and got transported through the ley lines as a memory? My brain is, uh, I think, is giving up. Uh, it's nothing. I still have enough strength to play the part of a good host. No, what? I've always hoped that I'd get the chance to talk to you like this. And now, the time has finally arrived. Okay. This is a rare opportunity for me as well. I should try to learn as much information from Kari Bear as I can. What exactly happened to Lu? And what exactly is the Loom of Faith? Extreme sorrow and pain. Hope. And regret coursing through your veins. And a degree of abyssal power that defies comprehension. Okay. My father told me that once I possessed all those elements, I would become the loom of fate. But despite his intentions for me, I never truly became the loom of fate. I was merely used as a means for its construction. In truth, I died the moment I set everything in motion. The person you see before you now is nothing but a remnant of consciousness left over within the loom of fate. Caribert is dead. That's why he no longer exists outside of people's memories. As for your question, the loom of fate is a device capable of weaving ley lines. Huh? Weaving? Ley lines? In its primitive form, it can only be used to create and implant memories. But, okay. as more of it is completed, its power becomes stronger and stronger, until finally, it has the power to weave real ley lines of its own. You mean change the world? Once fully completed, the moment it gains the power to weave ley lines, it loses the lower level ability to influence memories. Okay. But it also becomes a tool that can change the entire world. That was the source of your ability to implant memories? Yes. I have the ability to control the loom in its semi-completed form. I suppose you can think of it as a form of compensation. Okay. After all, its existence cost me my life. The memories that suddenly appeared in Dane's mind were implanted by Caribert through the half-finished loom of faith. Hmm... Okay. 
That makes sense, but I'm still lost as to why we went so far as to introduce himself or rest into Fimara. But why did you implant memories of yourself in the people of Fimara village? Uh, that. I was wrong to implant those memories. I'm sorry I caused so much trouble. Not only for everyone in the village, but for you as well. Okay. I just wanted them to feel like I once existed in this world. Huh? As if I had a chance at life. So that's why I would have never guessed. Mm. But is there any kind of meaning to this? I'm confused. Does only existing in people's memories really count as living? <laughs> I know what you must be thinking. Why would I do something so meaningless? Basically, yes. <sighs> but I just... I just couldn't accept it. I had to know what it would be like if I had my own life. What kind of person I would be. What other people would think of me. Okay. Chief Amadea, Baram, Granny Jahiat, Atosa. What would it be like if I could live alongside them? No cataclysm, no curse. Just a quiet life in a peaceful village. I was curious, so I selfishly tried to have my own life. Even if... Even if that meant piecing together the version of myself that could have been one memory at a time. Okay. I know it sounds stupid. <laughs> After all, my life ended a long time ago. Mm. Any chance at living was stripped away from me when I was eight years old. My consciousness left to mature in an illusory world of nothingness. Even the form you see before you was... Nothing but an invention based on my father's appearance. An imagined version of what I would look like if I had the chance to grow up. In the end, this all stems from the tragedy that occurred in Karia back then. What happened in Karia? You know, everyone is looking for you. But there's nothing I can do to make them find me. If I could exist in the real world, I would return without a second thought. And surprise them with the suddenness of it all. But... Well... That's not possible for me. As I understand it... Even though you only appeared in their memories, your existence was a great comfort to them. <sighs> I'm trying... I'm trying to... Uh, uh, I don't know. They all believe you once lived along them. I know. Now that I found you, let's continue this conversation sometime. They might still need my help. Can I continue this conversation with him at another time? Captain Dainsliff? Twilight Sword, you mean? Uh, no need to meet up with him. Things should already be settled on his end. What? Exactly. As someone who could only exist in people's memories, the fact that I'm able to talk to you in my consciousness like this can only mean one thing. The loom of fate has already been completed. Uh, 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 okay, but, uh, um, the loom of fate is already complete. That means the eye of the first pilot must have fallen into the hands of the abyss. Could something happen to Dane? No need to worry about Captain Dainsleff. He's absolutely fine. The only reason he lost the eye was because I happened to guess exactly what he was planning. Okay. Captain Dainsliff has had the eye inside his body this whole time, hasn't he? Huh? His plan was to lure the Abyss Order to a false location, capitalizing on their pursuit of the eye in order to have the chance to confront the prince. He would then hand the eye to you and tell you to take it away from that location. That way, Captain Dainsliff could accomplish his own goal and ensure the safety of the eye all at once. A very thorough plan. Yeah, but they never handed me the eye. That's right. Because in his mind, he had given it to you already. Of course he had. You piece of 
Does that mean he gave Dane a false memory? You made him think that when... Before you two entered that false location. Traveler, wait. Oh. Hmm? Yeah, when his head was... Uh... <sighs> yep, when he was trying to tell me something. We've no time to lose. Let's head inside. So when Dane froze up back then, it was because of false memory was being implanted in his mind. No wonder. That was when I implanted the memory of him handing you the eye. Given the tense situation at that time, Captain Dainsley failed to notice anything out of the ordinary and took that memory to be real. I'm sorry, Traveler, but I needed the Loom of Fate to be completed. And to do that, we had to retrieve the eye. So then had the eye this whole time until the Bissola took it away. I'm not sure there's anything we could have done. Ah, the Loom of Fate is complete. What are you planning on doing with it? I promise I'm not trying to conceal anything from you. But, I truly have no idea what the Prince is planning. Tavat's ley line system is deeply entrenched in the planet. Creating new ley lines can neither replace nor extend the ones that already exist. In the face of everything they could be planning, I fear I'm too insignificant to even get a glimpse of the bigger picture. Okay. In any case, I had my own use for the Loom of Fate, and my goal, at least, has been achieved. What's your goal? You remember my father, don't you? Clotar Alberic. I believe you saw him in your sibling's memory. Yes, yes, I do remember him. After he used the power of the Abyss to restore consciousness to my hilly churl form, I suffered from an indescribable level of mental anguish. Okay. To comfort me, my father told me a story that this was a fairy tale world where I had to take on the form of a little monster. That story managed to dispel my fears. Even if just for a moment. Okay. My goal was simple. To use the loom of fate in its near completed form. When its ability to create memories was at its strongest. To implant a specific memory into the minds of the Hilla Churls. Oh. In that memory, I would tell them a story. Just like my father did for me. It was a story of fairy tales and love. So that's why everyone was so peaceful. But. Was so calm. More than anything. It was the story of us. So the thing that caused the future to come back to me was Karibar's story. So that was his goal. That was the only thing he wanted. He had, this div uh, had a device as powerful as the room of fate. He deposed and all he wanted to do with it was to offer the Hilichers a moment of comfort and peace. I can't change the world. Not when I lost the very right to exist within it. Implanting those memories. That was the most worthwhile thing I could offer. Perhaps I think it was very meaningful indeed. All that's left of my existence is a wisp of residual consciousness tied to the loom of fate. In truth, that trace of my consciousness should have dissipated long ago. My goal was the one thing that allowed me to hold on all this time. But now, the bedtime story is finished. Hmm. And it's finally time to rest. Okay. Looks like I was too late 
to see Kari Bear one last time. Well, hello there. Okay. Kari Bear's consciousness is gone, and this space will soon disappear along with it. Neither of us belongs here. That's why we're not tangible. Were that not the case, I'd love to hug you too. Well, that said, well, how about a conversation? Tell me everything. Everything. I think that was the first thing I would say. The chance to just stop and talk like this is certainly not easy to come by. Wouldn't you agree? I almost can't believe it's real. That battle earlier was tough. The one against Dane, I mean. I didn't expect that after everything, he would still hesitate to raise his sword against me. Were it not for that, perhaps I'd still be no match for the Twilight Sword. Even after 500 years. What exactly are you planning? The Loom of Fate, huh? I still haven't found a way to utilize it to its full potential. But there's still time. Before the heavenly principles awaken. Oh, now I got goosebumps. The heavenly principles are still asleep. I'm still getting goosebumps. Yes, for 500 years now. Ever since the Cataclysm in Conria, there's been no sign of activity. Not long ago, you witnessed the Hydro Archon destroy her divine throne. Yes, yes, yes. yes. Such a flagrant disregard for the rules. And still Celestia took no action. I suppose that's proof enough of the Heavenly Principles situation. However, the Heavenly Principles will awaken. We just don't know when that will be. Or what might trigger it. You really hate the heavenly principles, don't you? You could say that. You could say that. Just look at Kari Bear. He was so pure and single-minded. The space we now find ourselves is a perfect representation of who he was. Quiet and peaceful. Even as a hilly churl. Seeing the terrible sight within the mirror wasn't enough to taint his spirit. He brought comfort to the people of this world even though he was denied the very right to be a part of it. So ask yourself this. Who was it that deprived him of that right to exist? Of course, that's only one example. My feelings about the heavenly principles are too complicated to explain in just a few words. <sighs> Lumine? You're the only one in this world who calls me that. There's so much I wanted to ask you. But for some reason, I'm not interested in asking those questions right now. Really? There's just one thing I have to ask. One thing I could never understand. Why? Why can't we continue our journey together? At the end of my journey, I arrived at a place known as the Sea of Flowers at the end. Do you remember? A long time ago, when we traveled between worlds together, you told me you wanted to find a place in the universe where that one flower was in full bloom. To have a place like that suddenly appear before me? Well, would you think of that as a coincidence? You mean... I miss you too, Lumine. But as this war continues to rage, and as I continue to seek that final answer, I don't even know how to face myself sometimes. Let alone my own sister. <sighs> What's going on? This space has lost its tether. 
I doubt it'll be able to exist much longer. No. In fact, aside from our ability to physically interact with each other, there's something else you should know about this space. With Kari Bear gone, we won't be able to remember anything. No, that here. why? Everything in this space will be wiped from existence, including all memory of our reunion. You're only telling me this now? That's sad. all fuzzy oh paimon woke up a little earlier than you so paimon will fill you in the villagers said that they saw us sleeping near the village yesterday they couldn't wake us up no matter how hard they tried so they decided to just bring us back here oh and dane came by just now it looked like he was injured wait a moment wait a moment wait a moment i was with cari bear in um that place right where was paimon and what was paimon doing kariber transported only me there but paimon was asleep too what happened there let me guess that's a question we won't ever get the answer uh, then came by just now it looks like he was injured well i guess the fight was interesting though just make sure that you were all right and left kind of seemed like he had a lot on his mind but that's game for you having trouble thinking straight right now let's think for a second we were in that memory and we saw that guy you called curry bear okay he was the missing villager that we've been trying to find right and after that uh, paimon doesn't remember what happened um, uh, of course, Paimon doesn't remember what happened. Kariper and I talked for a while. He told me about the Lumos fate. Yeah, so I guess I remember before Kariper disappeared. Wait, really? What a score! I guess our commission is complete. Then the missing vision of the person who only existed in people's memories was Kariper all along. But now that he's gone, I'm not sure how to explain things to the villagers. Well, what happened after that? After that, I can't seem to remember. Maybe I'm just tired. I feel like something else happened, but why can't I remember? I'm not sure why, but it almost feels like I lost something. Ah, there you are. <laughs> I hate you, Oyovers. Bayram, you sure seem happy. Did something good happen? Something good? Huh. Wasn't anything good or bad, I'd say. Okay. It's just that, well, the village organized another search party yesterday. It didn't feel right to leave all the searching to the adventurers. So there we were, searching away, when suddenly this one guy said it all came back to him. According to him, one day around dusk, he was passing by this one tree outside the village, and he saw our missing villager. There he was, sleeping under that tree all by himself. His parents came a little later to wake him up, and they all left together. They looked like quite a happy family, apparently. Oh, okay. And after that, well, we all started to feel like that really is what happened. Kind of strange that we forgot all about it for so long. That's how Kari Bear said his goodbyes. That was the last memory he gave them. Oh, and we also remembered his name. Okay. Kari Bear. Now, that's not a name you hear every day. Would have been helpful if we remembered it sooner. <laughs> yeah, tell me. Make sure you remember it this well, time. I hope he's happy wherever he is. And we're all relieved now that we know what happened. Seems like everyone thinks Kari Bear left the village. That's probably for the best. At least they have some sort of explanation now. Yeah, Kari Bear is gone. The Loom of Fate is now complete. And no one else will try to change the villagers' memories. Hmm. Paimon wonders how Atos is doing. Maybe we should go check on her. If she hasn't remembered like everyone else, 
we can tell her what happened. I guess. Hyman didn't see her in the village just now, so she's probably at the tree. Come on, let's go talk to her. Yep, let's go. Look for a Tosa. Poor girl staring at a tree. <sighs> You're right. Hey, Atosa, how's it going? Oh, it's you two. I was just about to go looking for you. I wanted to thank you. I was part of the search party, so I... Remember what happened to Kari Bear now. Honestly, I just... Can't believe I forgot something so important. Maybe he wanted you to forget him. I'm I'm sure he wouldn't want you to forget him. These two are two two types of uh, um, um, questions. He always seemed to appear out of nowhere, and now he left just as quickly. If Kari Bear wants me to forget about the time we spent together, then I'm willing to try. I relied on him for a lot of things. I'm sure with enough time, even the deepest of attachments can fade. <sighs> okay, I'll admit. I'm just putting on a brave face. I was dumped, wasn't I? Well, <laughs> ouch. Otherwise, why would he just leave like that without saying goodbye? I'm sure he had his reasons. <laughs> You don't need to comfort me. I'll be okay. It's just like Kari Bear said. It's the things we overcome that make life more precious. And you know, if he has a heart, maybe he'll come back and see me one day. Anyway, thanks for all your hard work, could. you two. I promised I'd help Granny Jahiet with something, so I should head back. Okay. Goodbye. Bye. Well, that should be it, right? Everyone's lives can go back to normal now. Oh, right. Weren't you about to tell Paimon what happened after your conversation with Kari Bear? Right. What was happened? I can't remember. It's like there's something in my pocket. You have a pocket? Uh, a picture? Where'd that come from? Let Paimon see. Oh, shit. Ooh, ho, ho, ho. You must get along with each other, the two of you. Holy. No, it's already done. Why? And now I have this. It's already done. But that's been... Wait, it's been one and a half hours. Hello? Okay. Okay, well, that was... That was a quest, apparently. I didn't even know when this this time uh, uh, went by. Uh, at least you could have reacted on this picture. So now I have group photo from an unknown time. Okay. That's, that's sad. Huh, and when will we get now the next Star Conquest? Now I can't wait for the next Star Conquest, of course. Huh. But yeah, that was it. Damn, what a, what a quest. What a quest. Uh, but I guess I'm done with that now. So um, maybe I'll start these ones if I had time i don't know i don't even know when will this uh this uh video get uploaded maybe if i have time i'll try to edit it today and force it and upload today but i have no idea i we have an exam tomorrow and i don't want to go but yeah i would like to thank you everybody so much for watching uh hope you enjoyed let me know your thoughts in the comments below about this quest because i I always love these uh, Archon Quest where Dane's Live is a part of because he always gives us a lot of information, a lot of lore about what in the world is happening in Teyvat. Because I'm pretty sure Teyvat is, uh, is something we know nothing of. I'm pretty sure all of these is just the 
surface and we have a lot to to figure out so yeah thank you everybody so much for watching i uh, hope you enjoyed and i'll see you in the next video bye